What's up, everybody? Wanted to address a couple questions that I've been getting uh, more frequently is how to change the heater core in my car. Nick, how do I change the heater core in my car? Well, this is going to show you how. There's a little bit of prep work that's involved. I've done some of it already. Um, this car, we're swapping the interior and components from another car into this body and frame. Um, we've already coated the chassis and got everything uh, kind of ready to go. But I'm just starting the process of getting back into it now and getting the thing put back together. You can see the interior over there. We got a little bit of a work to do. So once you've got the car down to this point, all gutted, I'm messing with you. Uh, you don't have to go that far, but there are some steps that you're going to need to take. So we'll cover that stuff in this video. Minimum, you're going to have to take the wheel well liner out of the passenger side. The wheel well liner bolts, we've got two right here that hold it in, and you're going to have a couple bolts down there that you're going to want to get to. Now, if you like to struggle a little bit, you can leave it in, but I'm going to say at minimum, you'll need to take that out. Taking the fender off would be really helpful. As you can see, um, everything kind of comes around and this is where the top of the fender would be. So you're gonna end up sticking your hand down in here and trying to get to some bolts. Um, like I said, I've already taken some of this stuff off so you can see where everything's at. I've got a bolt that's kind of holding the whole assembly in. We've got one bolt that's down there, another one down there. Past this point, there's nothing really that holds it in underneath. We do have two bolts on the top one down at the bottom there if it'll focus hello there we go but you can see the valve covers getting kind of close to that and then underneath your heater core hoses you've got one little screw right up against the distributor cap so once you get to the point where i'm at here and you've got this out this can be removed off the car and we'll pull this other little screw and then this whole assembly will come out. Depending on how long this thing's been on here, there is an adhesive that goes across and around. You can see the remnants of the original adhesive. This is not really sticky anymore. I mean, it's serving the purpose, but it's gonna have to be replaced. So you just scrape this stuff off. It doesn't really stick to anything, needless to say, but just scrape it off there, get it cleaned up. I've already done that on this. And then you'll clean the backside of this too. Put a beetle tape on there. Um, you can use a silicone. I, I don't use silicone on things just because silicone's more designed for a house, not for a car. And then it gets all dusty and sticky and, and it just attracts dirt. So you've got your AC stuff in there. Obviously your AC components are gonna need to get disconnected. Your piping and tubing, all that fun stuff. You've got your squirrel cage for your blower motor right on that box. Now's a good time to service it do a little bit of uh, graphite on the inside shaft, make sure the electronics are doing good. And then you can see your heater core box in here. There is one bolt that goes right here. That bolt has to come out. Your heater core hoses don't necessarily need to come out. On this car, it's been sitting for a while. So I pulled the original box. This is actually the replacement box that's gonna go in this car. I'm not ready to put it in there yet, but I wanted to mock it up to show you kind of how it goes. And there's some other components underneath the dash that we're gonna have to take care of. That's why it's probably the easiest to take the dash out, just to give you some extra space in there. Uh, your heater core is sitting right in there. Blend door is sitting here. So a little bit of stuff that you're gonna have to mess around with is your blend door cable on the inside. It's gonna be attached to the dash on the back side, right at the vent that's for the center vent for the passenger side. So refer back to my video in on my parts page It'll show you where all this stuff is, and then that'll give you a better idea of how you can get in there. Um, this will come out, um, like on this one, I've already pulled it. I left the hoses on there, I just pulled the hose clamps. So we've got some components that we'll have to mess around with getting off. Let me just pull this out so we can see it in the daylight, since it's not ready to go back in there. On this thing, I left all my wiring together because I don't need to pull every single piece out we're replacing all the wiring. We know the wiring in the original car worked. Everything should be fine. So we're just gonna leave it together, pull the assembly out, put it back in. Fairly easy, right? These hoses are your vacuum hoses. They have just a little metal clip and the clip just pushes down. In the other car, I just pulled that one out. They pushed up from the bottom. All it does is prevents this hose from sliding off of there, okay? So you take a little screwdriver, it's just rubber and it just slides on and it holds it into place. And that's all that little piece does. Snaps into place, fairly simple, okay? The only other thing that you'll need to worry about is this piece right here on the bottom side of this, this will disconnect. And on the bottom side of this, I'll show you on this one. 
there's a little screw. It holds it into place. It's basically just a plastic carrier that holds everything onto this vacuum port. So very, very simple. Once you get this assembly out, this top nut has to come off along with the shaft. It will slide out of this channel just like that. You've got one bolt right here. You've got another one right here and one more right here. That whole assembly will come out once you're done. Look at this, it's like hot rod TV or the power, the power block back on spike. If any of you guys are familiar with that, everything's just prepared and ready to go, right? It takes two minutes to change something. So, here you go. There's your heater core, it's ready to go. Now, like I said, clean your box out, service your blend door up front, get that stuff serviced, get it all ready to go, put some graphite grease on those things, clean these things out. You can see this one was leaking just a little bit at some point. Um, it probably wasn't too long ago, but you can see that that thing definitely had a leak um, throughout its life. So now is kind of the time to change all that stuff, especially when you're getting ready to do that. So just for the heck of it, I'll probably take that out of there to see where we're at. Since we're, we're into it this far, we might as well. I need to change all the jute across the firewall, get all that stuff changed, change out a couple more things. And then um, clean up the floors. It's been sitting. It's a little dirty. We got POR on the floors and everything's ready to go. Um, but we'll clean up the floors, get everything re-ready to go just from sitting around for a little bit. And um, get some dyno mat down and kind of finish this project up. There's a lot of stuff to do yet. The whole interior needs to go back in it. Um, and then some other things that will be coming up. I'm going to put shorty headers on this. Um, that won't be too big of a deal. I probably won't make a video on that. One of the other things that we'll make is the video on how to change from swivel buckets um, or from a bench to swivel buckets. So that's another thing that'll be coming up down the road. I have all the brackets, I have everything to do. We're just kind of jumping back into this now that I have some time and uh, we have some uh, space to get it done. So anyway, if you got any questions, let me know. I'll be glad to answer them for you. Um, hit me up with a message, shoot me an inbox. I'm, I'm a wealth of knowledge and I'm glad to share it with everybody. So thanks for watching. Hope you got what you needed out of this. See ya.